Hi guys! Welcome back to Vern's Day! Today, we will make fondant roses. I use 100 grams marshmallow. I it using the bain-marie method, which is done through a double boiler. I also use the microwave in melting it. Add 3 tablespoons of water. Stir it constantly and use low flame on And if it looks like this, it's done. In your working area, place a generous amount of caster sugar on it. I used 1 and 1 half cup caster sugar. Rub your hands with shortening or any oil. Then pour the melted marshmallow on the sugar. Then mix the caster sugar with the melted marshmallow until you achieve a paste-like mixture. Just continue the process until it is ready to knead. Knead it for about 3 minutes. And now, we have a Play-Doh-like material, which is so sticky and so soft. Just continue kneading, just like playing a Play-Doh. We need to have a consistency which is soft, is stretchy, pliable, and elastic. You can also add some more sugar, little by little, if it's still wet and soft. Just be patient because patience is a virtue. Pag may tiyaga, may fondant. Now, our fondant is ready. Wrap it with plastic to retain the moisture. And now, time to make the design. We will make roses. Form 9 small balls. Ball is for the bud. Make an elongated oblong shape out of it. And get another ball for the petal. Flatten and wrap it around the bud. Get another one and repeat the process. Flatten it to form another petal and wrap around to the first one. Just continue repeating the process until all the balls are done. There are different ways to make fondant. One is like what we are making right now by using a marshmallow. Number two, we can also use gelatin and tylo. And we can use also the xanthan gum. We can also make other designs like cars, robots, animals, flowers, trees, and many more. Okay, we are now forming a rose flower. Disclaimer guys, I am not an expert baker. Just sharing my experiences and joys in baking, which I also learned from YouTube. In baking, I can express my creativity and the artistic side of me. It helps me in managing my stress and gives diversion to my routinary activities. So guys, I encourage you to look for activities that will make you happy. Be it cooking, baking, singing, or any other activities that will make you a very busy person. 
Remember, a busy person is a happy person. That is, if he loves what he is doing. And inspire others as well. So I hope you find this video inspiring. And now, down to the last two petals. Can you now see the design? Flatten it more. And now, attach it to the flower. So beautiful! Of course, we have to celebrate our success. Appreciate your own work. That will make you more inspired and more motivated. This is my first time to make a fondant design. Though it's not yet perfect, I'm still willing to learn some more. In my future videos, I will add some colors to make other designs and now guys this is now my finished product three white fondant lovely roses so that's it guys if you like my video please give it a thumbs up and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever i have a new one Thanks for watching! Bye!